Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Vani Burroughs admits, it's my turn to be stuck in the refrigerator, as General Hospital viewers demand Gladys' head. It's no secret that Gladys' current situation has General Hospital viewers less than thrilled. Since Sasha was already having a difficult time before her mother-in-law became involved, she is largely to blame for the horror she is currently going through. Actress Bonnie Burroughs completely understands the vitriol spewed towards her alter ego on social media. She remarked, That's fair. On the Soap Opera Digest podcast, I really hope they love to hate her. Sasha and Gladys talk about G.H.'s error. That being said, the actress wouldn't be shocked if Gladys' karma were to catch up with her, especially in light of the fact that when she accepted the role four years ago, she only anticipated being on for a short while. I've had a really good story for a while, and that's going to continue on the air for a little while now, she remarked. I believe it's my turn to spend some time imprisoned in the refrigerator, both figuratively and practically. Everyone is buzzing about the Morris slash Eden video. People's tales come and go, she said, and I feel like, I don't know, maybe my story is about to. I don't know what's going to happen to her, people, she swiftly said after pausing. I'm not sure. Anyone who believes that Burroughs will join the Gladys hating crowd is in for a surprise. From my perspective, she makes mistakes absolutely. She has certainly caused a lot of harm, and Gladys' good intentions are like the road to hell. She adamantly declares, I love Gladys. She has my support. Gladys remains fearful of G.H. Likewise, her castmates do. I shared a small amount of worry about, oh my god, my character. With Maurice Bernard and Kirsten. She receives so much abuse online. Well, Sonny has killed people. And he slept with a 16-year-old, Morris responded. Additionally, Maxie drugged a person and slept with them. Therefore, it gives me great comfort to be reminded of the terrible things that characters in soap operas do just by definition. I may return. Are Blair's plans to bring, spoiler, back to town on the horizon? Burroughs is ready for whatever the fates have in store for Gladys. She admits, I know it might always be over. I will always treasure the experience, regardless of whether it ends immediately, later on, or forever. Plans that are sinister, enticing, and tense alliance. Mason Gatlin Holt will make a significant hint tonight, according to General Hospital. Dex Heller's most recent assignment should result from it. But Jocelyn Jacks will be concerned about the risks he's taking. Dex will pretend that things are just a little intense right now, despite the fact that Jocelyn may feel like he is constantly leaving to rescue Sunny's bacon rather than spending time with her. When it comes to Sunny and the tasks he requires Dex to complete, things are always going to be intense, which will leave Joss whining. Michael Corintos, who recently updated Carly Spencer on the situation, is also the person Dex reports to. Carly might have something to do with what happens next for Dex because she'll call someone urgently and tell them to go. Jocelyn won't be pleased when she learns that Dex will in fact need to escape a perilous situation later. Carly's phone call could perhaps be about Diane Miller's mission in the meantime. If Diane almost gets caught snooping, that could cause some trouble because she has been tasked with attempting to remove Drew Kane from Pentonville. However, Robert Scorpio will get interested in Diane's strategy for securing Drew's release, so it will be interesting to see if she can persuade the DA to support her. Although it's plausible that the judge is genuinely working for someone like Cyrus Renald, Diane needs to show that the judge was prejudiced in some way. Tracy Quartermain will congratulate herself on a job well done at the Quartermain home after the court session. When Lisa Losicero's character Olivia Quartermain learns about the controversy surrounding deception, she will portray Tracy as a vile person for not even expressing regret to barge in on him at the ranch, wanting to know if she would be out of a job after the upcoming Newman Media merger. 
Nikki Newman to Tracy, not as Brooke Lynn Quartermain will push herself to the edge. Harrison Chase, Josh Swickard, will probably ask Brooke Lynn if she'd like to move in with him because Brooke Lynn won't even want to live under the same roof any longer. According to GA spoilers, Chase will actually make a seductive offer on Thursday's episode, giving Brooke Lynn a lot to think about. Ava Jerome, Mora West, who had earlier expressed optimism that this horror would soon come to an end, will then inquire as to where Nicholas Cassidine's body is. Now Austin will change his mind about that notion and dash Ava's aspirations of ever seeing Nicholas' body again. Since he came to Nicholas' rescue and made sure Nick ended up on life support, Austin certainly knows more than he's letting on. Ava will express her annoyance, and Spencer Cassidine will think about how much Ace Cassidine means to him. Spencer will discuss this with Alexis Davis, since he would go to any lengths for his little brother. Spencer will undoubtedly also talk about how much he loves Trina Robinson and how he doesn't want to lose her. As Spencer seeks to strike a balance between his unpleasant situation with the Esmond Prince family and the romantic relationship he started with Trina, Alexis will provide some advice. Courtroom shockers. Spoilers. Jackson Montgomery returns in Port Charles, raising tensions in this deception faces its day in court and Brick has a message for Sonny as Dex finds himself in jeopardy. Deception is facing legal action for allegedly stealing the concept of the Deceptor, which has put them in hot water. Maxie tries to reassure her companions that they will win as the women enter the courtroom, though. It's all going to be okay, she assures. This is a good chance to catch the mastermind behind this and put them out of business forever. However, Lucy immediately recognizes the opposing attorney who enters the courtroom while Maxie and Brooklyn do not. Jackson Montgomery, who is representing deception in the lawsuit, is in Port Charles. However, does he work for Tracy, or do they both work for someone else? It appeared that Anna was the shooter's most likely target that day at the Metro Court Pool after her home was set on fire. Sonny's relationship with the defense contractor puts him in jeopardy, even if Pikeman is indeed responsible. Brick makes a suggestion to his boss. Perhaps someone's trying to get rid of you and get the money for themselves. Dex was aware of what he was signing up for when he decided to work for Sonny. But when his life is continuously in risk, his good fortune will soon run out. I asked, do you hear me? Speaking into the phone, Carly. Leave right away. Dex rushes up a dark staircase, but will he reach safety or will he fall into the fire? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.